Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, I will be discussing how to calibrate reversing heat capacity by running a modulated differential scanning calorimetry experiment, also known as MDSC. In MDSC, total heat flow is separated into the reversing and non-reversing heat flow signals based on a material's response to a changing heating rate induced by an oscillatory temperature modulation around a constant temperature ramp. Here, we have an example of heat flow data from an MDSC experiment. Reversing heat capacity is the quantitative heat capacity which is determined from MDSC. This signal doesn't include kinetic events, such as this crystallization. You can perform a single MDSC run to determine the heat capacity of your material as laid out in ASTM E2716. It is required to perform a reversing heat capacity calibration if you want to measure the accurate heat capacity of your sample. To begin, navigate to the calibration pane within the TRIO software. You need to have performed your heat flow as well as your cell constant and temperature calibrations prior to the reversing heat capacity calibration. Remember, it is best practice to perform all of your calibrations using the same pan type you'll be using for your actual experiments. Within the calibration setup tab, check the box next to reversing heat capacity. A tab to input your desired calibration parameters will appear. There, you can include information such as the sample name, operator, or any notes you may want to add. You can select which standard you want to use for your calibration. For this demonstration, we will be using Sapphire. A small, clear sapphire disc is provided in the kit which came with your instrument. If you are using an auto sampler, you can input here the location of your sample pan and reference pan. Again, you must match the pan type of your reference pan to the one you are using for your sample. Type in the sample mass of your standard and also the pan mass if you are running in T4P heat flow mode. Finally, you can input your experimental parameters. Typical conditions for reversing heat capacity are a modulation of plus or minus one degree Celsius over a period of 120 seconds with a ramp rate between one and three degrees Celsius per minute. The range of temperatures should be at least as broad as the desired temperature range which will be studied. At this point, you can choose to immediately run, queue, or schedule the calibration experiment. If we select queue all, the experiment will be sent to the running queue, which we can then see in experiment view. Here we can see that all of the parameters we selected are maintained. Once this is confirmed, we can start the experiment. At the conclusion of the experiment, you will find the data of the run which was just completed in the results pane. You will also see a file containing the calibration results. There we can see the correction factor which has now been applied as a function of temperature. You can verify the success of your calibration by rerunning your standard material using the same experimental parameters as the calibration. You can even use the same pan you had previously prepared. This would just be run as a normal experiment. Here we are starting a new experiment and inputting the appropriate sample information. We can then go to Procedure and select the Modulated Conventional template and input the same parameters which we used during the calibration. Then we can begin this new experiment. After the run is completed, you can again view the data in Results. You can double-click on the graph to select your variables. Plot the normalized reversing heat capacity from your experimental run. In TRIOS, you can then also plot the literature values of the heat capacity of Sapphire by selecting it from the extended list. You can then compare it to the experimental data. If there is a high degree of agreement, as observed here, then we can be confident that the instrument has a good calibration and that the reversing heat capacity from MDSC experiments should be trusted. In this tech tip, we went over how to calibrate your Discovery DSC for reversing heat capacity and how to verify a successful calibration. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.